It's October 2015 and there's been good project progression across a 250 acre site. Behind me is a service tunnel and about 116 meters past that is the powerhouse cavern and there's various tunnels connecting to it. But before we have a look at that, let's go up to the John Hart Dam and see what's happening there. Power BC is working on a new intake here at the John Hart Dam. What will happen here, we'll have the new intake go underneath, enter the power tunnel and go about 1.5 kilometers down to the powerhouse to create electricity. But the first step is to create a coffer dam to dewater this area here between the coffer dam and the John Hart Dam to allow them to do the work in the dry. We're now on the downstream side of the dam. We had a mass concrete pour to allow the water intake works to go underneath it. We've also removed the earth fill and soil to allow for the controlled drilling and blasting in that rock to provide the intake into the power tunnel down to the generating station. We're halfway down the service tunnel where this tunnel carries on to the powerhouse cavern and this tunnel is one of the attics. It spirals down to the base of the powerhouse, the power tunnel and the tail race. It helps with the rock removal process. Then these attics will be closed off. The rock quality is very good and the tunnel work is progressing well. In the main access tunnel, the contractor is currently working through some loose rock zones and once they're through that, they'll continue on through the rock. On behalf of ACON, SNC-Lavalin, Frontier Kemper, and all the subcontractors and workers, we're pretty proud of what we've accomplished over the past year. What you see above me and behind me is our powerhouse cavern. It's approximately the size of an NFL football field, and once it's complete, we'll be over 40 meters deep. Above our heads, the roof is covered in shotcrete and has systematic rock bolting to protect us from the ground. On the sides, you see concrete plinths being placed, and those will house and support the overhead crane. We're scheduled to complete the excavation by this spring, and after that, concrete works and turbine generator installations will commence. We were just inside the powerhouse cavern, and once the new generating station is in place, water will pass through it and enter a tail race tunnel, where it'll travel about 600 meters and exit into the Cam River system here. With us is Paul Sawyer from Empower BC. Paul, uh, we have about 215 people working the project here in Cam River. We've utilized about 100 subcontractors providing supplies and services. Uh, it's a massive project. We really appreciate Empower and your team working with the pride and efficiencies and innovation of the project so far. So from your perspective, how are things going? Well, thanks, Stephen. Um, well, the project site is expanding and it is a challenging project. We've assembled a good team, and we've got a focus on safety, quality, innovation. We're working with local subcontractors, suppliers, and workers, uh, many of whom reside in Campbell River, and it's a great place to work and live. We are also pleased with the support we've received from the, the community at large. There are challenges on big projects like this. We're working through whatever challenges present themselves toward a successful completion.